Even as we speak, we have 13 rivers in North Carolina at major flood stage. So we're continuing to work to get people safe and secure. Our first responders are out there making sure that people are safe and secure, and that will continue to be a priority. I've talked to people who have lost their entire home, people who really don't know what to do with the fact that their business has been washed away, farmers who had a majority of crops in their field that they were not able to harvest in time. We know that we're a state that is hurting. But one thing I know is that North Carolinians are strong. We have about 7,800 people now in those shelters. We still have close to 200,000 people who are without power. We are conducting widespread still search and rescue operations in southeastern North Carolina and as well as on up the coast. We've been using our, our North Carolina National Guard as well as our Coast Guard partners to help us do this, as well as many, many task forces from all over the nation, plus task forces right here in our state uh, for search and rescue operations. I do want to say that uh, NCDOT has been making significant progress. We have, at the peak, we had over 2,200 uh, roads uh, that were closed, and now that has been reduced to less than 900. But I certainly want to caution everybody out there that we're still experiencing, as the governor said, major flood conditions that we expect like US 70, US 258 in Lenore County to peak uh, through this week and uh, into the weekend.